Hi everyone, Mr. Benjamin here, and today we'll be talking about elements, compounds, and mixtures. So this can be found in our notes, so let's go through it. Alright, so all matter uh, can be divided into actually two different categories. One would be the pure substances, that means things that are only consisting of one particular substance. And the opposite is actually all the other mixtures. So anything that's not pure, right, it's always a mixture. Okay, so a mixture is actually made out of two or more substances that are actually, they are mixed together. Okay, they are just physically uh, added together and they're just mixed together. And we can separate these mixtures, right, by uh, methods of purification, which is something that we learned in uh, chapter one, right? However, on the other side, we have our pure substances. And pure substances can be separated into two different uh, categories. One are the elements, and the other is the compounds. Okay, so let's talk about elements first. Because, you know, an element is something that cannot be broken down into two or more simpler substances by a chemical process, right, or physical process. Any sort of process cannot break down the element into a simpler substance, right? And uh, elements are those that we can find on the periodic table. So if it can be found on the periodic table, it's an element, right? Some examples of uh, elements that uh, don't really appear very easily on the periodic table would be elements like diamond, right? Which is actually just carbon and also things like graphite which is again, uh, carbon. Okay, so these elements exist in two forms. One is actually either as an atom. So it is just one small particle, right? That has this chemical property of the element. Or if we have atoms that are combined together, then they are molecules, where a group of two or more atoms uh, chemically combine together. Okay, so you have two or more, you chemically combine together, that's a molecule. So it looks something like this. So an atom uh, are like that, okay, all same color, but a molecule can be like this. You only have one color. One color means one type of atom. So these are elements. But if you talk about mixture, then they will have different. So you see like maybe a different color, like this like that and they are all just uh, mixed together and you can just they're not joining together okay so now let's look at the next type of pure substance they are compounds so compounds are actually substances that are made out of two or more elements so different type of atoms okay two or more elements that are chemically combined together okay so that means something like this is a compound uh, maybe something like this is also a compound. Two or more types of elements can make it combine together. And there are two types. We can have a non-metal and a non-metal. Uh, right? And you will probably might have learned about it. These are joined together in the form of molecules. And they are also known as simple covalent molecules. Or when there's a element, a metal element and a non-metal element together, they will transfer electrons and they will form things, ions, uh, and they will form substances known as ionic substances. Okay, so this is just a simple summary of the different type of matter that can be present. So let's take a look at the next one. So we give you some example of elements. I'll suggest that you pause the video right now, right? Look at the periodic table and try to fill this table out. Okay, so how's that? I hope you actually manage to fill out the periodic table. Uh, search the periodic table and get used to know where are the certain elements. Especially things like lead can be a bit hard to find. Make sure you know how to find them. Magnesium, uh, zinc, uh, silver. Okay, these are elements that are a bit hard to find for some of you, but you need to find them. Okay, so let's talk about certain type of compounds. Okay, so a compounds, the ratio of the atoms must always be fixed. So what does that mean? So if you look at the first one, potassium chloride. 
Potassium chloride is a metal and non-metal, so it's an ionic tau compound. There are two elements, there are potassium and there's chlorine, so two. And the total number of element items is one and then two. So there are two atoms in total. Okay, water is a non-metal and non-metal, so this is a covalent tau compound. All right, there are two elements, there's hydrogen and there's oxygen. So there's two elements, but there are three atoms. There are two hydrogen atoms and then one oxygen atom, so a total of three atoms. Okay, sodium hydroxide is an ionic substance because it has a metal and non-metals. There are three elements, sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. So there are three elements and there's one sodium, one oxygen, and one atom. So there's a total of three atoms. Now the next one looks a bit more complicated. There are metals and non-metals. So again, this is ionic. So over here, we have one magnesium. We have NO3 and we have two of this NO3. So it will be Mg magnesium. We have the NOOO. So we've got NO3 and we have two of them. So we've got NOO, -O, two of them too. Okay, so we have a total of one, two, three different types of elements, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different atoms present. Okay, so these are the different types of compounds and they're about to be mixed in a particular uh, pattern. Okay, so now let's look at some mixtures. So mixtures, we have um, like this one, we have mixed carbon dioxide, which is this one that says CO2, right, with H2O. The CO2 is combined together, you see, but it's not combined together with the H2O. So these are mixtures. So some common examples of mixtures which you need to know are these. Sugar solution, salt solution, anything with the word solution is definitely a mixture. Air. Air is a mixture, 78% of it is a nitrogen, 21% uh, of it is oxygen. So in this mixture, uh, proportion shifts around, right? Crude oil is another type of mixture. And the next one is very important. Let's put a star here. Uh, it is alloy. So an alloy is a mixture of a metal and another element. Okay, it doesn't need to be a metal. It doesn't need to be non-metal, just a mixture of a metal with another element. Okay, so I just gone through briefly uh, certain things about matter, element, compound, and mixture. And I'll see you for the next video. Right, all the best. Bye.